Hey, what's up Empire Builders? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to literally write all of your sales pages, all of your product descriptions using ChatGPT. If you're not familiar with this tool, it's an AI tool that's completely for free that literally writes copy for you, emails, all of that for you. But today, I'm gonna be showing you secret prompts that you can put into this thing to literally write your entire sales pages for free. Now guys, those of you tuning into the e-commerce empire builders for the very first time, I want to give you a huge, huge, huge warm welcome. We do a giveaway here on the channel each and every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Today's video giveaway winner is going to get a copy of our best selling book called e-commerce empire. So if you want this plus over $2,000 in free courses, all you got to do is drop a comment down below in today's video. Make sure that like button, that subscribe button and that notification bell. But guys, today we're talking about chat GBT, specifically how to get it to write your sales letters and your product description. Now, let's go over the shoulder right away, guys. This is ChatGBT. It is a completely free tool. Um, if you get head over to chat.openai.com, we've already released some videos about this tool. Um, so if you want to continue learning how to use this cutting edge platform to really automate your entire business, you're going to want to be subscribed to the channel. We also have a playlist on this channel talking all things ChatGBT for e-commerce, dropshipping, and online businesses. So make sure to tune into that. But like I said, guys, we're talking about ChatGBT today how to write product descriptions with specifics, okay? Because a lot of people I've found are making this common mistake. They're going to ChatGPT and they're like this, write, write a product description for a fishing lure, okay? And they'll click enter. Now don't get me wrong, this is gonna give you a, a good a good product description. We'll read this uh, as well for you guys, but I wanna go a little bit more deep here um, because here's the thing that people are not understanding with using ChatGBT. It's not just throwing in broad commands, it's about being more specific for your needs of the actual uh, uh, pieces of a, of, a, of a page. Right now, this product description, let's read this real quick. The fishing, uh, this fishing lure is versatile and effective tool for anglers of all skill levels with this realistic swimming action and lifelike appearance. This lure is designed to attract fish and trigger strikes. The durable construction ensures that it can withstand the rigors of multiple fishing trips while the multiple colors and sizes available allow you to choose the perfect lure for your specific conditions. Whether you're fishing uh, in freshwater or saltwater, this lure is a must have for any angler. I mean, that was, that was so good. I mean, that was just, I didn't even want it to be that good. And it was so good, guys. It brought a tear to my eye or something in my eye. <laughs> um, that was, that's so good. This tool scares me. This tool really scares me. But, okay, so number one, this can be on your typical product page. You could, honestly, you could take this. Obviously, whatever your product name is, it's not gonna be fishing lure. That's the key thing to understand here, guys, is don't go in here and type in like, you know, uh, the Fly Fishing Master 3000, right? Like, it's not gonna know what that is. So you have to be a little bit more broad with what you're telling it to do, but then you could take that and then the, you know, uh, Fly Fisher 3000 is a versatile effective tool for, you know, then you could put it in there. I hope that makes, I, I, that's, I know that's common sense. Um, but what you want to make sure is you have a couple other components um, if, of your of your sales pages. Um, and the, that's what we're going to go into right now. So the first thing you always need is some sort of good catching headlines, right? So what you can actually do is you could say things like this in this tool. You could say, write five compelling headlines uh, selling or we'll say about a fishing lure product. All right, and we'll see what it comes up with, right? Five compelling headlines about a fishing lure. Pro and you can write 10 headlines. You can write 25 headlines. I'm just doing five for the sake of this video to show you guys how to use it. Uh, catch more fish with our proven fishing lure. Realistic swimming action and lifelike appearance for even the smartest fish. Oh, dude, that's so good. That's so good. That one you can use even in an ad. Oh, that's such a good one. That's such a good one. Durability tested in the toughest fishing conditions. Also very good. If you're a fisherman, you know that. Uh, multiple colors and sizes to match any fishing situation. Anglers rave about the effectiveness of our fishing lure. Two winners, I would say in here, guys. This two and three are very good headlines, right? Realistic swimming action, lifelike appearance, full even this. This is what's crazy about this AI, guys. It's, it's literally smart. Like it literally is clever. It, it, it's it, it's crazy. It, like it, it, it's creative. It's. It's just so scary, at the, but awesome at the same time. Um, but love these two headlines. So right now, we've got some headlines that we can do. We got some product descriptions. What else do we need here? Guys, now if you see me looking over here, I'm just going through uh, some notes that I have in my other screen. Um, 
one thing that I've always wanted to talk about on this channel, but I never really did, is story selling. And the reason I did it is because number one, I think it's not 100% necessary in e-commerce and dropship. I don't think so. If you're selling more higher priced products where people need to buy in on you, on your brand, right? Like you look at some of the big e-commerce brands out there, a story really can uh, you know, raise you to a different level. But a lot of people suck at writing stories. But you know who doesn't write, uh, suck at writing stories? You know, I, I, I'm going to name ChatGPT something because I, I use this so many times every single day and I want to like name her something. I've given uh, her a gender. Um, what you can do in here, right, is you can tell it to write a story. Now, ethics aside, guys, all everything that I'm about to say right now, you have an ethical line that you need to draw in your business and your stuff. But what I'm, all I'm going to say is this could be something that sparks some sort of inspiration that shows you a story that's well written that you can then maybe like spark some imagination in your own head about a story that you might have had around a brand. Okay. Now, this is what you can write. You could say write a, you know, let's say write a, we'll keep it short, 300 word story about a fishing lure. Okay. And it's going to do that, okay? Like that is what it's going to do. It's gonna take a little few seconds here and it's gonna come up with an amazing story. Now, a couple things. Again, stories are good because they're about us pages. It brings people together. You can create amazing videos around this kind of content um, as front end ads as well because people like to buy into your story of your brand. Look at Bomba Socks. Why did they blow up? Because you get a pair, you give a pair, right? Like you look, you see these things absolutely everywhere. Um, and you can see it's, it's writing out this entire entire story. Now, again, what I'm telling you here, guys, you have to, I'm not telling you to take this story and make it the story of your brand. Again, that is not ethical, but I want to show you the power of what this AI can do. It can do absolutely everything in your business. Now you have an ethical line that you need to know where you are not or where you will cross. Okay. A hundred percent. Like I said, use it for inspiration. Maybe it'll spark some creativity from a story that you can create that actually happened to you. Now we're not going to go read through. Um, but like, Oh my God, look at it. Let's just hit a couple parts of it because it's so good, right? Look, look at this last, let's just read the first part. The sun, the sun was just starting to peek over the horizon as John made his way to the shoreline. He had been looking forward to this morning for weeks and was excited to finally get out on the water and do some fishing. As he set up his gear, he carefully selected the perfect fishing lure for his tackle box. I want to keep going. Should I just keep reading this, guys? It's probably going to kill uh, the uh, the engagement. Do me a favor. Like button, subscribe button, do all those things. Helps us. But I, I kind of want to know what happened to John. John had been using this particular lure for years and had never let him down. I had a realistic swimming action that mimicked the movements of a real fish and a lifelike appearance that was sure to attract the attention of even the most wary fish. John knew that this lure would be the key to his success on the water today. As he cast his line into the water, John could feel his excitement building. He watched as the lure disappeared beneath the surface and waited patiently for a bite. It didn't take long before he felt a tug on the line and he knew that he had a fish on the hook. He carefully reeled in the line, uh, feeling the fish struggle against the lure. After a few minutes of intense reeling, John was able to bring the fish to shore. It was a large bass and it was easily the biggest one he had ever caught. John was thrilled with his catch and he knew it was all thanks to his trusty. Over the course of the day, John continued to have success on the water. He caught several more fish, all of them falling for the irresistible lure. As the sun began to set, John reluctantly packed up his gear and headed home. He couldn't wait to come back and do it all again. Despite all of the high-tech fishing gear on the market, John knew that the key to his success on the water was he tried a uh, tried a true fish. He was he was his tried and true fishing lure. It may not have uh, the latest bells and whistles, but it got the job done every time. Do you want to learn more about John's fishing lore? Click here now. Like, this is crazy. My goodness, guys, so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, I don't even know what to say because I think we all can agree that that is way more creative than any of us. I don't know what is in my eye today, guys. Um, so, last one I'm gonna share with you guys is also gonna cross the t uh, the uh, the uh, the. Uh, actually, I have a couple more things, guys, that I can share with you. Um, the one I'm a little weary to share because I feel like a lot, everyone's going to abuse it and it's just not a good idea. Um, maybe we'll share it. We'll see how the rest of this video goes. All right, all right, all right, let's go over here. Now what you need a guarantee, right? Guarantees are absolutely key, right? Write an amazing money back guarantee 
for a fishing lure product. Right, we always want the guarantees on the pages. Let's see. Let's see what we get. What kind of amazing guarantee are we gonna get for this fishing lure product we're selling? <laughs> Look at this. At company name, whatever your company is, we are so confident and effective as our fishing lure that we offer 100% satisfaction guarantee. If for any reason you are not completely satisfied with your purchase, simply return it within 30 days for a full refund of the purchase price. No questions asked. We want you to have the complete confidence in your purchase and are dedicated to providing you with the best possible fishing experience. Try our fishing lure today and experience the difference yourself. Oh, so good. I can't even get over this tool. I've been using this for like four days now and it, every day it amazes me. It's, <laughs> there's something to say about that. <laughs> um, all right, now, you know, po privacy policies, return policies, it could do all of that. Um, write a uh, return. Oh guys, I didn't even say this. This is going to completely disrupt the legal space too. Contracts, everything. You're gonna do that in this. You're gonna literally write contracts in this. Write a return policy for a fishing lure product, okay? Now you might need to be more specific here with like state regulation, terms of service, privacy policies. Um, so it's gonna probably list out the same exact thing that, um, let's see, it just wrote out a different return policy. So like you can have a return policy, money back policy, whatever you wanna do. So it's putting that all together. Um, okay, so we'll share the last one I said I shouldn't share. Um, you can, you, again, ethical line. All right, ethical line. Why would you do what I'm about to share with you? Because when you are gathering reviews and testimonials from people that aren't good at, at like talking, you wanna be able to give them some sort of inspiration. Like, hey, did this product do this for you? Can you confidently say what well, this happened here? Uh, 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 is this a, uh, a good explanation of what you've experienced using this fishing lure? And usually people are like, yeah, yeah, it is, plus this, right? So we can say things like write a testimonial for a fishing lure product, all right? And it's going to do that. Do not, do not take this and say it is a real testimonial without getting it from an actual person that used your product. Again, you can use this as inspiration because a lot of people suck at writing, right? They do, right? So they, you want to show this, be like, hey, you know, uh, hey, Mike, I know you've been in our company for a while. Um, would you say that you've had this kind of experience using our products, or is there anything else you'd add or change? Right now, you have a legit review. So you can see, as I've been using blind company names, fishing lure for years. And I can confidently say that is the best lure in the market. The real stick swimming action and lifelike appearance always attract the fish and the durable construction ensures that it can withstand even the toughest fishing conditions. I have caught countless fish with this lure and will never use another. Thank you company name for making such a fantastic pride. That is the best, that is like the best review I've ever read. Like <laughs> hits every single objection in the fishing lure market. Um, like just all around an absolutely perfect review and if you can show this to a customer that had those kind of experiences with having it written out like that from an actual customer it's going to be an absolute game changer guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you want more chat gbt trainings we're going to have a playlist on this channel talking about it a ton we're going to be having a lot of content around this stuff to help streamline and automate your e-commerce and your online business so make sure that like button that subscribe button that notification bell don't forget drop a comment down below to grab our best a free copy of our best selling book called e-commerce empire one lucky winner is going to get that so you want to tune into the next video to see if you're that lucky winner guys as always have a fantastic rest of your day and remember your empire starts now